and Bloom News Brief. More info at fullandbloom.com. Legendary guitarist Ace Fraley recently spoke with Chris Shiplett. A link to the entire interview can be found in the description. On his drug use during the classic Kiss days, Ace said, I'll be totally honest. I'd have a couple of beers before the show, maybe a couple of lines of blow, but I didn't want to get wasted because I always had integrity and I always wanted to perform at my best. I'd save the heavy partying until after the show when we got back to the hotel because I didn't want to fuck up. And if you look at most of my concert footage over the years, I'm pretty spot on. Yeah, I'm a little sloppy, but you know, listen to Paul's rhythm work online. On the evolution of Kiss's makeup, he said, When I started out, it was just silver. Then I started using blue eyeshadow that made my eyes come out more. They popped a little more. But everybody's makeup changed a little through the years. Jeans did, Peter's did. I remember Paul, for a while, had two things on his eyes. I'm going to tell you something nobody knows, and Paul will not admit it, but when we were at the Daisy, that club where we were experimenting with our makeup, I mean, one night I came out with my whole face silver. We didn't know what the fuck we were going to do. But Gene was pretty set on being the demon. I love science fiction films, so I decided to become the spaceman. I came up with those stars outlined in black. Paul was wearing white face with red lipstick, and he had a circle around his eye, like the dog from The Little Rascals. But after a show one night, I looked at him and I said, Paul, why don't you try like putting a star over your eye? He did, and that was his makeup for the rest of his career, but he'll never admit that I came up with it. After Chris read the fan-submitted question, who smelled worse after a gig, Gene, Paul, or Peter? Ace answered without hesitation, oh, forget it, Gene. In fact, his wife, Shannon, I was over at their house a couple of times. Her nickname for him was Stinky. He didn't shower as much as the other guys did. On his tapping technique in Eddie Van Halen, Ace said, Before Van Halen became famous, all I can tell you is, when I was doing my guitar solo at Madison Square Garden, before they became famous, Eddie was down in the pit watching every fucking move I made. But I did the tapping with a pick. I didn't do it with my finger. As far as I remember, I think I just came up with it. Eddie probably got some ideas from me, just like I got ideas from other guitar players. But he perfected it. There's no way I could play some of the solos that he pulled off. During a recent interview with that metal voice, former Wasp guitarist Chris Holmes, who grew up with Eddie Van Halen, talked about the possible origins of Eddie's finger tapping technique. Holmes said, I took guitar lessons from Eddie's lifelong friend, Terry Kilgore, probably say 74, 75, and I was painting a house at the time, and there was a guy that had gold records on the wall. It was canned heat guitarist Harvey Mandel's house. I never met him, but I met his wife. We were painting their house, and I told Terry, hey, there's this guy, Harvey Mandel. Who's Harvey Mandel? And Terry says, you know him? I go, I don't know him, but I know where he lives. I'm painting his house. And Terry goes, could you ask him if I could meet him? So I asked Mandel's wife if I could give Terry's number to him. And Harvey called him, and Terry went up and met him and learned some tricks from him. And he learned to finger tap. Terry was doing that as one of the lessons. And about a month later, Eddie Van Halen was doing it. I think that's where the finger tapping comes around, from Harvey Mandel. I've heard Ed say different stories about where he got it from, but that's where I think he picked it up. During an interview with Guitar World magazine, legendary guitarist Richie Blackmore echoed Holmes' comments, saying, The first person I saw doing that hammer-on stuff was Harvey Mandel at the Whiskey A Go Go in 68. I thought, what the hell is he doing? It was so funny. Jim Morrison was carried out because he was shouting abuse at the band. Jimi Hendrix was there. We were all getting drunk. Then Harvey Mandel starts doing this stuff. Everybody was saying, what's he doing? Even the audience stopped dancing. Obviously, Eddie Van Halen must have picked up a few of those things. More news at fullandbloom.com. 